What's going on guys? We're hanging out here in the Croc Monitor habitat. And um, yeah man, I just wanted to say hello to them, open their door, because I noticed that tomorrow oh, he sees all right, get out, get out, get out. Thank you to all our loyal Patreon members out there. This week's shout out goes to LJ Moore. <laughs> he loves to come quick recently. Yeah. He sees the tongue. I want him to. I just want you out. What's this? What's that? Is that food? Come on. Try it. Come on. It's just always better. Oh yeah, always. To be safe rather than sorry. But he's just super excited. But now he's realizing there's no food here. But I'm trying to feed him the croc chow. He still wants to. Yeah, you gotta yeah, shut that. Close the door. He I'm got, trapped in here with him. But some blood on his lips. Yeah, that's from him. Actually, his teeth are so sharp, they cut his own gums. So I don't know. He knows there's some kind of food. Here it is. Come on. Come on. He also sees the bucket. Yeah, it's not really the same bucket he's used to. I don't want to get in trouble here. You want the door open? Oh, oh, oh he's going after. He went after my foot. Holy shit! Shut that door. Yeah, yeah, it's shut. I think it's my new sneakers. He went and then stopped. So that's kind of. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine, but I did drop some of the food. So yeah, he's seeing, seeing this, he's very crap. Oh, I stepped on his tail, that's never good. Oh, oh, oh. Come on over here, buddy. Oh, Shit. Get ready to open that door for me, bud. Yeah. Come, ready, go. Got it out? Yeah. Right. Woo! <laughs> that was a little tense, I gotta be honest with you. And I lost all the food. Um, he is fired up. That was the first time in a while. Yeah, I haven't been in there. So he's, you know, I, I gotta tell you, I've been in there with sandals and uh, he doesn't quite do that, but he is fired up, it's real hot. And he was coming past the tongs. I was trying to use the tongs as a way to kind of move him off, but he was really coming at me. And he was coming at me with an intent to get at my feet. So my concern is that these, I, I rarely ever wear these in there. Usually I wear boots or my sandals, which is not uh, any kind of improvement. But basically, yeah, that was a little sketchy. So I think he just got a little excited, but thanks for backing me up and having that door ready. Yeah, yeah. We just ran him around in a circle. Now, meanwhile, this is why you just, you, it, we always have to come with that same level of preparation. Like it's, it always can go Dude, bad. It can all, I mean. But we're glad we do it at. Well, here's the thing. He, it wasn't a full, I'm not gonna make excuses for this animal. Like he's basically uh, stimulated. He smells the treat, but it's something new. So I think the smell was getting him over amped, but he didn't quite know what the biscuit was. And so it's an experiment that, I mean, at this point it failed. I haven't seen him eating it. He's not eating it yet. But yeah, I don't think he knows. So he's never been fed those little bits. He's never before? been fed okay. those, but it's, you know, it's a smell that, that obviously is interesting to him, but he was coming right past it for my feet. Right. And I didn't want to get a bite on my bare uh, shin. Yeah. Because that would be a problem. Or and anywhere. Bare. I actually know someone who got bit um, by a Komodo dragon in the Achilles heel. Uh, and that was a that was a problem. So, you know, I, I definitely didn't want to get nailed. So I was trying to when, be calm, but it was time to leave, I think, is the truth of it all. When's the last time he was fed? Uh, he was fed just a few days ago. So it's not like this guy is starving, but it's been warm and these guys are extremely active. But... Um, Gosh, I don't want to go back in there like this. Maybe I would change and at least put on long pants or something. Oh, for sure. Um, and they, he could go right through long pants. You think but this was, Yeah, this was just a very interesting situation, man. And it's one that with this type of animal, I don't want to have the mistake. If you want to get a better shot, you know, I just, I want to see what he was reacting to. Was it my, was it my feet? 
you know? Why'd you do that there, buddy? Why'd you do that? Now, get ready, because I wanted to pick this stuff up. So I wasn't happy about this, dropping all this food. But I think eventually he might go for it. Look at another beautiful. piece right there. Oh, there's, right there's tons of right pieces. There. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I got these. Yeah, watch I got that the, tail. The other tail, I'm not worried. The tail, I can take a whip. Getting nailed by that mouth would be just horrible. Um, we don't want that to happen. In fact, you know what else I need, I think would be wise? Because the tongs, to be honest, I was using my red line hemostats to kind of push them away. And thank goodness these are large. Yeah, um, that's definitely. why I had the large ones because I was really just pushing his head away. He was going and I felt the strength of him and he was flexing these. So I think what's smarter is I'm going to just grab this pole. <laughs> and I'm not going to move until it's latched. I think the pole would be a little, I feel a little bit more secure uh, with a pole to kind of move them around with. But this is a very large, a very strong and agile lizard. He could climb right up this pole. Again, we're gonna have the same situation. You're gonna man the door. Mm -hmm. and, and, and listen, no matter what happens, always shut this door, even if I'm in there, because I do not want this animal getting up. So I'm gonna try and clean up a little bit. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna clean up a little bit. He and I have had a pretty good friendship at a at the point and i want to maintain that and i want to be in here and have him not be see something what is it what is it? I'm, I'm moving my foot on purpose i want him to know that's my foot okay but i also want to give him space because now he's on the ground and um yeah he's interested in something what is he seeing i think i just want to know what he's in the bucket yeah what is he stimulated is. by what is he, is it the stick now? All right, so the curled tail means he's a little concerned. That's a cute, the, but the, the tail flick, uh, the tongue flicking like that is curiosity. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, that's fine with me. But I just, my gosh, I just want to uh, figure this out and get some more of this food picked up. Just, it's interesting to me. This is an interesting thing. Yeah, there's your food. I was gonna feed you. I was gonna give you some of this. Oh, you're upset now? Are you upset now? She's locked in there, right? She's not locked in. Uh, she she might be, I, I don't know where she is. She might be in there. And that's another reason I wanted to open this door. I wanted to open this door. Well, we gotta, you gotta have a little bravery when you deal with these animals, you know? So you can't let that situation detune you. But what I'm trying to do, see, let's just gently touch him. All right, there you go. He's You're wound fine. up. You're fine. Little... Yeah, he's a little wound up, but it's okay. There's gotta be a reason, but he's not coming after me again. He does smell, he's smelling the, uh, the chow that's right over there. What I wanna do though, is I wanna open that door. And you know what's gonna happen. Hey, excuse mm -hmm. me. Excuse me. Slap. Yeah, exactly. Hey, buddy. You're all right. You're okay. It's just a stick. Just a stick. Again, let's try and make him feel a little bit more comfortable. I don't want to lord over him, a tower over him. I'll just relax and just kind of get I down. Bang the door. Yeah, you're all right. But I've never had a real issue with this lizard. That, that was the first time I had felt concerned about him. Like that, that I might get a bite. He did bite on my shoe, um, but it wasn't. It wasn't a really like predatory bite. It was almost like a, just a kind of inquisitive bite. The problem is, is that was bare skin. Their inquisitive bite, you're uh, you're gonna spring a leak. Lacerations. Exactly. Big teeth there. But we gotta we gotta just earn it back here. So you know what to do with the uh, door if we need to. I'm gonna come ahead. And do this. I'm in a bad spot, but he's all right. Let's see. Is she in here? Yeah, she's right here. So we got the door open. You see that tail? There we go. Good boy. I want to just keep walking around, let him know. 
I'm not here to do anything bad. He doesn't want to do anything stupid. But I really wish you would have or would try the chow. It's just such a great way to kind of supplement some of their feedings. He seems so stimulated. I'm not I know, and that's what it is. I, I think that's what it is. The smell of the chow, he knows it's something that has got his interest, but it's not in a form that he's used to. Exactly. It's not bleeding. It's not bleeding, or it, it, he doesn't have to kind of tear it apart. So I think that's good, though, that we're doing this. All right, I want to get over there, Bob. I want to get over there, though. Are you, you going to try to pick some of those up? I would like to. I don't want to waste them. I think maybe he'll eat them. But this is, I mean, this is incredible, though. It's its good. It's interesting. Now I've learned a lesson here. Um, I should have. paying the price. With what? Without paying the price. Well, it ain't over yet. <laughs> the video ain't over. But, you know, we're trying to, you know, learn this animal's behavior. And each, each individual animal is going to tell you something else. So at first he was just a heightened sense of excitement. Um, one of the ways I learned from my buddy Tom Crutchfield is the pupil. Um, you know, the pupil is kind of wide right now. And that usually means a stimulated animal. It could be a frightened animal. Um, but he is extremely alert. And make no mistake, this animal here can deliver a very serious injury to you. And in some cases, the injury could be life-changing, and I don't want a life-changing injury. Um, so I want to respect the animal here, you know? So we're giving him space. I'm going to wait and see if he'll move on. Right now, it seems like he's just really guarding that rock. What's the matter, bud? You want to go back up, don't you? I want to get you back up. The other thing, would you hand me the tongs? Because the, the tongs also mean food. And that, they're red. Okay, they're brightly colored. And that could have also been another stimulation. He thought, he sees the tongs. He knows tongs mean food. So could that have been part of the problem also? Is that I have these tongs. And maybe thinking that the tongs were going to be... Food. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. That's food, man. I know it don't look good, but it tastes great. <laughs> it looks like. You know you want it. You know you want it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's okay. He's curious about it. The other thing I can try to do, oh, wait, wait, come on. The other thing I can try to do with the food, I'm shaking it, that's not me shaking. Although I was shaking before, I'm not afraid to admit it. Anyone who has one of these lizards come at you in that kind of situation could be a little nerve wracking. Tail's still coiled. Yeah, it's exactly, good, good cue. What I wanted to try, see, he's nervous being down on the ground. What I want to try is I'm going to dip this in water. You see how we hunch down real low? I'm going to actually moisten this in some water and see if it's more palatable if it's wet. He's a little nervous. Maybe um, I think he's focused on you. Yeah. Let's definitely. both of us go right here. So now both of us are right here and he can calm down. See that? Come further into the cage. Yeah, he's trying to lure us both in. Come on, buddy. Come on. It's good. Yeah, he is, he is stimulated by the food. He's just not into giving this a shot. In the meantime, I can salvage the mess I made here. 
Yeah, there's another one that's down by his feet. There's a few of them. Thank you. I'll pluck these up. Here, you get the bucket. <laughs> get the little... Whoop, what's yeah. going on? You, I, there's a reason why I have him in the door. Listen, I will jump in front. You're not We're getting good. bit. I'm We're getting good. bit. We got plenty of room. Grab that. I don't want to take my eye off him. At least we're saving this. Isn't it funny? I we feel should leave a few for yeah, him. Yeah, we'll leave dry. a few. But I, he here, here's what I was going to say. I feel less stressed out being in with the alligators than this guy. He's he so can, capable. So capable. So fast. Um, and, you know. And we come charging in. Yeah, loud voices as look usual. At this, look at this. He's on to something. What do you got? Yeah, your face. No, it's incredible. Look at this. Oh, yeah. What is that? Look, he's, he's using his mouth. What has he got? He's eating one. Guys, he's eating there one. It is. This is great. Watch, watch, watch. Oh my God, that is so cool. That's what we wanted. Ooh. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. Now eat it off the tongue, silly guy. Oh, that's great, man. See? And like I said. He wanted to hunt for it. In oh, the he just wanted to explore for Oh, good. Oh, guys. This is a victory, man. See, he just was overstimulated. He knew there was food. He got confused. It was my fault. I, I probably could have had a better way to do this for him. This is awesome. You're a good boy. All right, he's coming. Yeah. He's coming towards me. Coming towards. Oh, give me that. Come on. He's overstimulated. That's what it yeah. was. He's just unsure of what this is. And you may laugh, I'm feeding them on the tongues, but I don't care, man. There's going to be a lot of, like, tough monitor guys that are going to be talking crap. Oh, never care. I don't care. <laughs> never. I never care. I, I laugh at that stuff. Because it's like, I don't want to wind up a statistic. Um, Which is... Here's the deal, man. There are a lot of YouTubers out there that are very cavalier with um, their lives and the lives of these animals. And they, they're doing things for shock. They're doing things to kind of get views. And in my opinion, they're doing things that are ruining it for everyone else. I don't want to pay that price. I know it's dangerous just enough where we are right now. Okay? Um, I know mistakes can happen. I'm not going to push the envelope. I'll push the envelope in other ways in my life. The creating cool habitats. The fact that I have animals that can be dangerous is pushing the envelope. But it's about minimizing the interaction. It's about minimizing um, any kind of catastrophe that can happen because you know what? I enjoy having fingers and toes and legs and being able to ride my bike. Um, I think uh, it's a detriment to what the, what the hobby is, uh, to the professionalism that other people spend a lot of time trying to be and um, it makes us all look bad. And some of you may disagree with me and I don't care. The reality is the reality is we don't want a mistake to be so detrimental that it hurts us or the animal or when I say hurts us it could hurt us look he's on to another one did he find another one in there careful he would that stick he doesn't he know that that sticks not no but there is there's a when little there's a little the piece of here he wants to he wants to kind of search for it oh look at that he wants to search for it oh yeah. careful I'm okay. Looks very interested in your face. Oh, he just had a little sneeze. Come on. Yeah. This is amazing, though. But since I've been going on my little ram, my little diatribe, <laughs> uh, it's important. You got a niche there, buddy? Look at this. Look at this behavior. Isn't that amazing? Here. Let's go for it just to see that behavior. That's that tongue. That's that monitor lizard behavior. Any kind of monitor, whether he is a tree dwelling monitor or whether he is, oh, look at this. Let's, let's go ahead and give him something to look for. I'll throw that down there and see what he does. Let's throw it down there and see what he does. See what that tongue does. These animals aren't to be feared, they're to be understood. And I'm understanding him a bit better now. I've learned something and I got away with it easy. I learned that bringing a new food item in a totally different way um, got him stimulated, so now I know maybe not to do that again. 
but that is so cool. This lizard is amazing. These croc monitors are just absolutely incredible. You know what I'm going to do, bud? I'm going to go ahead and grab this, and I'm going to see if she's interested up here. You let me know if he makes a move. I just threw that okay. in there for her. He's just checking you out, but he's... Yeah, because there's still food right here. You see? We've still got not messing around. that one, and we've got that down there. Because what I did, and I'm not ashamed to say it, what I did, one fell in there. He might go for it. What I did was when he was coming at me with mouth agape, I kind of used the scooper to, to ward him off like that. And uh, all the food came flying out. So whatever, man. Uh, that's the kind of mistake I'm happy to have. I've said it before, man. I may like cowboy hats, even though I'm not wearing it right now, but I'm not a cowboy. And I want to do this the right way, and I want the respect of my peers, and I want to um, continue to put forth a good um, representation of what is possible with these animals. So anyway, we'll continue to go. Look at that. He zones in on it. He zones in on it. He likes it off the ground. Look at this. Look at his behavior. Look at that. Look at his, fa his head. That's incredible. He still looks better. Pounds. Yeah, well, I think we're all right now. I think he's calmed down a bit. I feel a lot better. Did she let him do that? Okay, she hasn't eaten yet. That's amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and leave these up here, but look at this. Yeah, I she's love doing this the digging again. I mean, I almost wait. Is he gonna go for that one? You know what we'll do? Let's just put this in here. Yeah. Let's put it in there and see what he does. Oh crap. Let's see if he uh, he goes for it while it's actually in the grass. Because he seems to like to, he likes to kind of hunt, yeah. not hunt for it, but forage for it. These guys scavenge, they hunt, they do it all. It's so rad. He is so wired into us right now. Uh, this is an animal that's got incredible senses, man. But I'm happy. I'm happy about this. Um, I'm happy that he actually ate that stuff. But look at that tongue flicking. He's on a, he is on a mission. I don't have any more, bud. I don't have any more. One of the things I learned with Tom, and I might have made a mistake here today, but it's, it's really scary um to have that presence of mind but from tom crutchfield bites happen like if they are going after something and you pull back what are you you are now you are now a prey item trying to flee and luckily i don't know if that was the situation i had but pretty incredible stuff here man so here's the camera we're right up there we're thank you we're trying to build trust again I want him to understand I am not the food. I'm down on the ground. We're hanging out. And he's just doing his thing. So I've... Man, I learned a lot today. This was awesome. And you know what's funny is you never know what the video will be um, with animals. It just kind of presents itself. And sometimes you have these moments that you really just teach you. And what's awesome is we have the uh, GoPro going. And you guys get to learn right alongside me. And that's something that I, I value uh, doing the channel. I really do value this because I love these animals. They're incredible. That's an incredible animal. All right, guys, there you go. That's the end of the video. I sense uh, it's time for us to leave. Uh, he did great. Um, I'm really pleased. I hope you guys learned something. I did. Uh, we, we saw just how amped up these guys can get sometimes. And um, I think it was the appropriate response. We don't want them to come out. But I want them to know that I am not food. I just don't want my leg bit. Let's offer him. I don't want my leg you bit. Step out? No, you're good. You're good. He's just flicking on my shoe here. Flicking on my shoe. I'm just trying to keep it on the shoe. I want him to understand that's not food. I want him to register into his brain. That is not food. It's just a shoe. And it is part of me. And he and I have a friendship. A uh, partnership, if you will. He tolerates me. And he understands that this is not food. 
All right, guys. Well, there you have it, man. I'm going to back out and we're going to end the video. Hopefully, with me keeping my feet. All right, everybody. We don't want an escapee. We're going to just gently nudge him back there. I'll be talking to you guys again real soon. We'll do more work with the croc monitor. Today was an exciting day. Oh, you know what else I see? I'm sorry to keep starting and stopping this video, but here's something else. Look at this lizard. Dead lizard. Right over here that I didn't notice before. Close the door. Look at this lizard. Does he want that lizard? Is that not big enough for you, buddy? I think he wants out the door. All right. No out the door for you, my friend. See you on the next video, guys. So long. They can't all be slinkies. <laughs> Slinky.